I can't think. Good day, good day, good day. Welcome to the backyard. And yes, it is a brisk, chilly morning today, but I welcome you to Strength for Today's Man. This is volume nine. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for those of you that are watching the video and those that are on the audio, please continue to share and uh, subscribe to whatever platform that you're on. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, we're going to end our volume nine. We've been in Matthew six for the past nine volumes. And so we've been talking in reference to, you know, the Lord's Prayer. We've kind of been breaking certain verses up in, in the Lord's Prayer. But we're going to talk about something that we deal with on a daily basis, and that's temptation. We've all been tempted. You know, the question seems to be, have you been tempted? Have you ever been tempted? Well, yes, everybody's been tempted. The question should be, when was the last time you were tempted and did you pass or fail that temptation? That should be the question. Because I know that we've all had to face temptation one time or another. Matthew 6, 13 says, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. It's, it's interesting to note that Jesus, he concludes his prayer with a request not to be led into temptation. Because sometimes when we're struggling to overcome temptation, we find ourselves, and I know this to be true, more likely than ever to start focusing on what's tempting us. That one thing that's tempting us we find ourselves more likely to focus on that than focusing on Jesus at that particular moment. The second a temptation is mentioned is the moment we can't get it out of our heads. Think about the times that you were tempted. Now, how quickly did that temptation leave your mind? That's something to think about because the moment we're tempted, it seems to be stuck in our heads. And there's so many examples I can use. And the good one that I use, or anybody else can use when it comes to men, women. We're so easily distracted by a pretty woman. We're so easily distracted by the female. She walks by, it catches our attention, it catches our focus. We can, we can see her walk by, you know, and, and in most cases, no big deal. But it depends on what she's wearing. Depends on how she looks. That can be the biggest temptation in man's heart is the woman, the lusting after the woman that was walking by. You know, we have to fight that temptation more so than, I guess, overeating. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that overeat because they love food. You know, they're tempted to overeat. They're tempted to run the red light. They're tempted to run the stop sign. There, there's so many temptations that we deal with on a daily basis. How do we fight those temptations? Let me help you with that. Here's the solution. The solution to overcoming temptation is to focus on something better than what is tempting you. That's the solution to overcoming temptation. You know, yes, I can get spiritually deep in this and talk about far as how we should keep prayerful and pray and that's good we should we should but if we just remember that in overcoming temptation is to focus on something better than what is tempting you something positive and we want to always bring God into it we always want to bring Jesus into it we always want to bring the Bible into it we should because there's a reason why scripture speaks multiple times of fixing our eyes on Jesus that's important especially as a man of God you shouldn't get to a place in your life to where you're tired of hearing the word of God hearing uh, encouraging scriptures hearing now granted there are so some, some that are really radical and really out there as they say fired up for God and 
And some of them are a nuisance. I have to be honest. Some people can be a nuisance. I love God. I love the things of God. But there's times that I want to steal away. I want to go to the backside of the mountain and just, you know, meditate on God for myself, pray, you know, whatever it takes. Focus on Him. But then there's some people that are really just dogmatic and just, it really turns you off in the things of God. And even in that, we have to be careful with our mindset on that. When, when our eyes are fixed on Jesus, temptation becomes strangely dim. Why is that? Because our gaze is on something far better than the diversions our culture is throwing at us. Our culture is throwing so much garbage at us. Look what's happening on the news. Look what's happening on these TV programs. So much is happening that's diverting our attention away from God and putting it on the things of man. Let me say this, there is no confusion in God and our children are being inundated on a daily basis in the classroom about their sexuality. That's the ways of the world and how the world is throwing all these things that's not of God at our children every single day. And that's why it's so important for you as a father, you as a dad, you as a man, to be strong in your walk, be strong in your faith, and know that God is God. We need to keep our attention on Him. Keep your gaze on something far better than the diversions the culture is throwing at you. Our gaze is on the one whom our hearts truly crave. Your heart has to crave God. Temptation is hard. To be honest, temptation can be very hard. But the victory is overcoming temptation. Here's a simple little prayer. It says, God, you are worthy of my complete focus. Help me to see you in your power and strength today. May I get a glimpse of you and your love? Then I will not slip into distraction. Keep your focus on God. Keep your mindset on God. This has been Strength for Today's Man, Volume 9. And I'm Malachi Mitchell. Be blessed.